Anyway. So that's where we are, and it's it's I I just find it sad because I you know I what I want to see out of Silicon Valley is what Zuckerberg was in his early days, what Uber was in its early days, what Apple was throughout Steve Jobs' tenure. It was stick it to them, just do it. Just go you have great ideas and just go and make them happen and figure it out and solve problems and change the world and make doodles of money doing it. And challenge the status quo and don't accept the status quo and don't accept the politics and don't accept the regulations and don't accept the world around you. A few years ago, I was, I, I, I was uh, sitting down and having coffee with, a, with one of the legends of Silicon Valley um, a man, you know, who, who basically gave the first venture money, venture cap, formal venture capital money to Steve Jobs. Remember, this is a Steve Jobs who was a hippie, who was filthy, who was, uh, you know. So I, I have no problem, by the way, of the CEO of, uh, of WeWorks walking around the office barefoot. That isn't the problem. It's the five homes that he's bought before ever going public, before ever really succeeding, being a success that I have against him, not the barefoot. Steve Jobs was worse than barefoot. Anyway, I was sitting with this guy who'd funded, you know, Cisco and Yahoo and, and Google and, and many of the legendary companies in, in, in Silicon Valley, one of the great venture capitalists of all time, working for one of the two, three greatest venture capital funds of all time. And he said, it's not the same. Silicon Valley is just not the same. The regulators are here. Government is here. And then he said it like the MBAs are here. In, in the sense of what he meant by MBA as, um, you know, conventional stuff is here. Conventional business people are here rather than the innovators, the people who want breakthroughs, the people who want to challenge stuff, the people who want to really change the world. Everything's more conventional. Everything's more staid. Passive, uninteresting. And that was sad. That was sad. Really sad. Um, yeah, I mean, somebody mentions this. How about all the Beyond Meat products coming out lately? Yeah, I mean, that's another great example. I mean, everybody is excited about a, a technology company that makes fake meat. Everybody's talking about it. Everywhere I go, people are talking about Beyond Meat. I mean, really? Now, granted, they're using, I don't know, biotech to do this. But who cares? Meat is pretty good as it is. And, and instead, this massive venture capital investment, massive hype, massive, you know, people engaged in what? In, in companies producing stuff that tastes like you know, everybody said, oh, it tastes like real meat. You got to try this. It tastes like real meat. It doesn't. It tastes like styrofoam. It's awful. Now, one day, they'll be able to make real meat. I don't know. Atoms, they'll build it up into real meat. But they can't now. And the junk that they're pitching as meat replacement stuff is not meat. It doesn't taste like meat. But this is hype in Silicon Valley. You can understand it being hype, I don't know, among food manufacturers, among food people, about, among environmentalists, about nutritionists, about whatever. But Silicon Valley? But this is how bad ideas, bad philosophy, and a, and a lack of vision and, and strength and... Uh, is, is, is crippling the place, unfortunately. Now, I hope I'm wrong, and, and some of you who work in Silicon Valley will tell me I'm wrong if I am, I hope, uh, but that's what it looks like from the outside. Um, okay. Uh, somebody asked, how did the private investors let it get that far? I, I mean, it's a good question, and um, again, the private investors, particularly SoftBank, let it get that far by basically protecting their downside. And look, I'm not saying WeWorks can't make money and won't make money one day. It probably will. But in the prospectus, in the S1, 
It didn't even mention making money. It didn't, ma- it didn't articulate how they were going to make money. It didn't show a path to making money as if nobody would care. The assumption was investors won't care. I remember uh, teaching a finance class in 1999 and one of uh, 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 an advanced finance class, and not, not for freshmen, this was seniors. And, and the kids would argue with me. They would tell me, companies don't need to make profit. They have value just because they grow. Even if they never, ever make profit. Now, this is the days where Amazon was at a massive valuation uh, and, and ha- had no profit. And they were going, it doesn't, nothing. You don't even have to imagine that they can be profitable one day. They just have to grow. Now, I looked at them and said, you know, you shouldn't be graduating. I should fail you from this class. Because if you're graduating with a finance degree and you think that, you have no clue. And I thought, well, it's 1999, they'll learn their lesson. And indeed, the, when the stock market collapsed in 2000, when the NASDAQ went from over 5,000 to 2,000, you'd think people would have learned a lesson. But they haven't. They really, really haven't. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think, meaning any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the role of the collectivist brute. Using the super chat, and I noticed yesterday when I appealed for uh, support for the show, many of you stepped forward and actually uh, supported the show for the first time. So I'll do it again. Maybe we'll get some more today. Um, if you like what you're hearing, if you appreciate what I'm doing, then I appreciate your support. Uh, those of you who don't yet support the show, please take this opportunity. Go to iranbookshow.com slash support or go to subscribestar.com you're on book show and um and and make a kind of a monthly contribution uh, to keep this uh, to keep this going i'm not sure when the next